when the air temperature outside hits extremes like what we're expecting this weekend, it really can put a strain on your car's cooling system. Yeah, in some cases, that may cause your engine to overheat. Tony has more on what to do if this happens to you. Every car has a temperature gauge with an icon that looks like a little tiny thermometer. That's the gauge that'll tell you if your car is overheating. The problem with overheating is that it can ruin your engine. So if you're driving and your car begins to overheat, here's what you should do. First, while you're still moving, put the windows down, turn the AC off, and blast the heat. Now, that's going to put a lot of hot air into the car, but it's drawing that hot air from the engine. I know it sounds crazy, but that's the quickest way to cool your engine down. Next, pull over to a safe spot on the side of the road. Put your hazard lights on, turn the heat off, and turn the engine off. All of that should take less than two minutes. Once all that's done, you just have to sit and wait for your engine to cool down. Now, keep in mind that could take up to a half hour. You can check the temperature periodically by putting your key in the accessory position. In the meantime, call for help or at least let someone know where you are. But don't open the hood, especially if steam is coming from the engine. That's just too dangerous. And don't drive again until the temperature gauge is back in the normal range. Remember, this is just damage control for your engine. You haven't fixed the problem. You've just dealt with the symptom. If your car is prone to overheating, that's something you'll want to take up with a qualified mechanic. I'm Tony Martinez, Fox 12 Oregon. Yeah, another thing to think about is that you know, cars can overheat even in the winter time. Your engine operates at about 200 degrees. If it gets much above that, of course, it's a very dangerous situation. And if you really don't know your way around an engine compartment, not a good place to be on a hot day. So uh, make sure you call for help and let things cool down before you go anywhere near popping that hood. Really good reminders. Thank you, Tony.